All right, ladies and gentlemen, right now, though, please join me in welcome a media mogul, a gentleman who knows the business of media and has been in it for a while, also an authority in his field. Join me in welcome Mr. John Momo as he comes up here. To read and discuss. But don't stop clapping until he gets here. Be kind to our readers. Your Excellency, the Vice President, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I'm very delighted to be part of the audience here today to witness this book launch. Very many precious people have written about doing business in Nigeria. Um, God bless them. Jim Ovia has written an insightful, enterprising, practical, and excellent book on how he's risen, risen from zero to $16 billion in Africa. And if Africa is the new frontier, and Nigeria is the trigger that will make that happen, Jim Ovia has pulled the trigger. Here's an excerpt from the book, which I commend for everyone to read. It's about logo and branding. And there's a quotation from Jeff, Jeff Bezos, Amazon CEO, who's the wealthiest man on earth today. A brand for a company is like a reputation for a person. You earn reputation by trying to do hard things well. And so Jim writes, when I was writing the feasibility study of Zenit Bank, as part of my license application. I gave a great deal of thought about what name and logo would best befit the institution. Anyone who has studied business knows that these basic elements of branding are extremely important components in any commercial venture. Under Nigerian law, a bank is not allowed to use any part of the name of an existing bank. So I began with a comprehensive list of what names were off limits. The banking industry can reach national and even international markets. I knew it was important to look for something that would not be limited by way of geography, of culture or language. I started researching with those qualifications in mind to find a name that was unique, one that would be memorable to Nigerians, to Africans, and to international markets. I knew it was important for the name to have a wide and lasting appeal. In my research in various Thesauruses and dictionaries, the word Zenith came up in numerous languages, including English, French, Latin, and Spanish, all with the same definition of the top or the pinnacle. When I found the word, it was more than an aha moment. My whole being said, Wow. This is it. And once I had my bank's name, I turned my attention to designing the Zenith logo. And in preparation, I started many of the best known, most easily recognizable logos in the world. Nike, Exxon, Mobile, Mercedes-Benz, and McDonald's. I also started the most successful bank logos such as Citibank, Chase, and Bank of America. The first thing that struck me 
was their simplicity. I noticed that even though they cut across many industries, oil and gas, fast food, sportswear, banking and finance, many of the logos, nonetheless, had three things in common. One, they were simple, easy to read and understand. Two, they spelled out the name or initials of the company. And three, many featured the color, color red. And look around you today, and it's painted in red. Congratulations, Jim.